Yeah, running computers is fun. So welcome. I'm, I'm really sorry for the huge delay. We were going to try and call Graham, um, but uh, I don't think that's going to happen this time, unfortunately. Um, Graham wasn't able to join us because he's had a pa someone passed away in his family. Uh, normally, Graham does all the MC and stuff. Uh, he does an awesome job of that, but instead you get stuck with me, um, which is a far inferior version of Graham. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, sorry, James. So, can everyone hear me? Are we okay? Larry? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, first and foremost, welcome to CakeFest 2012. Uh, We'd like to thank everyone for attending this year. Um, we'd especially like to thank each and every one of you for making the effort to travel here. Uh, some of you traveling from quite far away. Um, to just to show your support for Cake PHP. Uh, it's very humbling to see the community come together like this to show their support for the framework. So without you, we wouldn't be here. We wouldn't be able to do this. So we're very grateful. So thank you. Uh, my name is James Watts. I work at Cake DC alongside Larry Masters, the founder of Cake PHP. Um, for those of you who don't know Larry, it's this guy here behind the cameras. Um, now, uh, like Mark said, uh, Graham can't be with us this year. So uh, we've had to make a slight change to the schedule as he was due to give some talks. Um, so if you want to head over to the Cake Fest site, CakeFest site, uh, cakefest.org, slash talks, you'll be able to see the changes that were made to the schedule. It's, it's not very, uh, it's not too bad, the change, so don't worry about that. Um, additionally, uh, we're going to have two breaks as well as a lunch and a dinner. Uh, all of these will be held outside of the conference room here to the right, down the corridor, Western Room 1. Um, without further ado, I hand you over to the lead developer of the Cake PHP project, Mark Story. And I, yeah, like I said, I'm sorry for the delays. Um, so if you're looking to get on the Wi-Fi, uh, the SSID is, that's the information. You can also use the days in uh, password. Uh, that one also works if this one gets clogged. Are these all on or something? Uh, so last year, uh, we had Cake Fest here as well in Manchester. Um, it was so great, we had to come back. Uh, this location gives us a great access to Europe. Um, it's a little bit easier for people from Japan to get here because it's only halfway around the world um, <laughs> instead of all the way around the world. Uh, it also has brought us lots of attendees, and there's a great local community in the UK. Um, we'd like to really thank our sponsors. We've had a number of really great sponsors, uh, both returning and new. Um, the Diamond sponsor is Cake DC. They're organizing, helping organize the event They've helped organize all the streaming, um, make sure everyone's on time, and uh, just helping the project out in a lot of different ways. So big thanks to Cake DC. Next up is Sanasoft. Uh, Sanasoft is a, a development shop in Nagpur, India. They provide uh, services in a number of different uh, ways for PHP and development in general. Um, and they've been part of the Cake PHP community for, I, I can't even remember how long now, probably six, seven, eight years now. Um, so thanks to Sanasoft for continuing to support the project. Uh, Microsoft um, seems an unlikely ally, but they've been really great to us in the past number of years, um, helping us uh, build out technology on top of SQL Server support, uh, answering questions around uh, supporting IIS, and just helping the project financially as well. So big thanks to Microsoft. Um, they're not the bad guys you think they are. <laughs> 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 also to Engine Yard, um, Engine Yard owns a, a sub-company of Orchestra.io, which offers platform-as-a-service hosting for both Ruby on Rails and for PHP. So if you're looking to get off shared hosting and do something a little bit better, um, definitely check out Orchestra.io as it's miles above shared hosting and uh, not that expensive c comparably. Um, we'd also like to thank Rackspace. Uh, they haven't funded or sponsored this event directly, but Rackspace provides all of the hosting for all of the Cake PHP sites. So we're very grateful to Rackspace for providing virtual machines to host all of the Cake PHP domains, um, because without them, we would be paying a lot more money, uh, <laughs> a lot more than nothing, uh, <laughs> for all of the hosting of the site. So that's the book, the API, the main Cake PHP site, CakeFed. Cakefest.org, the bakery. Basically, every site we run as the project is running on a Rackspace server, um, and they've been great to us. 
uh, and you. Uh, without a community, uh, an open source project dies. Uh, no one looks at it, no one commits to it. So without a community, th there'd be nothing. So we really mean it at the end of every release when we say without you, there'd be no cake PHP. It's, it's actually true. <laughs> um, so some statistics on how the project is doing. Between 2010 and 2011, there were just over 4.8 million viewers. Uh, viewers visits um, an average of 12 pages per visit this is primarily for the documentation and the main website as well as a bit of the api uh, the top three countries were japan usa and india as you can all read um, so since then some things have changed there's been a bunch of releases which jose and i will be talking about we've started planning the 3.0 roadmap and some development towards 3.0 which um, we'll be talking about probably during the core panel discussion and this year uh, this year passed uh, we've grown the number of visits up to 5.5 million, um, which is an average of 15 pages. So hopefully the new documentation is enticing people to stay a little bit longer. Um, the country balance has changed quite a bit with India taking number one and then USA and Brazil. I'm pretty sure Japan is number four. So Japanese are still kicking it. So <laughs> going towards the conference, uh, there's speakers and attendees from over 10 countries. Um, there's global interest in the conference because there's 10 countries. Uh, there's new sponsors, so we want to thank them. Microsoft and Engineer, Sanisoft, Cake DC. And there's lots of interesting talks going to be, be happening. Uh, if you weren't here for the previous two days, there was two days of workshops. Jose fearlessly led <laughs> two years of workshops, two days of workshops, um, teaching everyone all the great stuff that you can do with the new versions of Cake PHP. And all of the attendees will be getting uh, training certificates as well. Uh, now we're at the, the conference. There's going to be two days of presentations and two streams. So there's this room, and I think it's the room in the back. Uh, just which, which, Where is the second room? Same one as last year? Yeah, down the corridor and to the right. Okay. Follow the arrows. They probably moved it since last year. And there's also people watching live worldwide uh, on the streaming. Uh, so enjoy. Um, Enjoy the cake fest. And if you have any questions, you can ask me or anyone else who's got a red strapped lanyard. Or if there's any problems, feel free to come up and talk to us. Um, up next is Mark Brown from Microsoft, and he's going to talk about how hell has frozen over. <laughs> so thanks for putting up with the technical difficulties.